Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get shaders back on Roblox. So we had them before on Roblox, but then they were recently removed. I'm pretty sure it was due to Roblox updating their like hack thingy. I don't really know why they were removed, but they were removed, but now they are back. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get them back onto your computer. Before we start, I'm just gonna say a little disclaimer that this is what worked for me and that this might not work for you. But basically, if you want to do this, you have to have an NVIDIA graphics card. And if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, then this will not work for you, unfortunately. And so to have an NVIDIA graphics card, you do have to have a Windows computer. So if you're playing on a MacBook, you are out of gas, unfortunately. But for this tutorial, you need an NVIDIA graphics card. And if you are not sure how to check what graphics card you have, I will show you how you can check your which graphics card you have very easily. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come down to the search and you're gonna type device manager. And then you're gonna just click open and it will take you here and you're gonna go to display adapters and click the arrow and it will tell you what graphics card you have and if it says NVIDIA right here, then you are good to go for the tutorial. So once you know what graphics card you have, you can just close that out and we can officially start with the tutorial. So there are a few websites that you're gonna have to visit and a few links you're gonna have to download, but they are completely safe and I have them on my computer and the websites will be linked in the description of this video. So the first website, this is the first website, it's the first link in the description and this is the NVIDIA profile inspector and you're just gonna click this right here and you're just gonna click it and it will automatically download up here. So once you've downloaded that, you can just drag that onto your desktop and you're going to want to right click it and then click extract all and then just press extract. And then it should give you this and you're going to open this right here that says NVIDIA profile inspector. So this, it should bring you to this program right here. Um, you're gonna scroll all the way down to other right here and this first option right here that says Ansel flags for enabled applications you're gonna want to make sure that it's allowed so when you download this it's gonna say disallowed it's gonna be like this so you're gonna make sure you press the arrow and then press Ansel allow listed allowed and then make sure you just press apply changes and then you can close that and we are completely done with that for the rest of the tutorial like you will not need that ever again next you're going to go to the second website in the description and you're going to download this quint file um just basically to download it you're going to press code right here and then you're just going to press download zip and it'll download right up here so same with this one i just dragged it onto my desktop and you're just going to right click and extract all again and click extract and then you should have this quint master folder right here and in here it says shaders and it has all of this right here you're just gonna want to keep this open in like a separate little window because we're gonna come back to this later so you can just like minimize it or whatever you want to do while you're waiting or you can close it and like you'll just have to come back to it but like i suggest you just leave it open it doesn't matter but i'm just gonna leave it open <laughs> And finally, we're going to down. We're going to go to the third website, and you're going to download the third and final link. So it's going to be the same way. You just click code, and then press download zip, and it'll download right up there. Okay, so I just dragged it onto my desktop again, and you're going to right click again, extract all, extract, and now you're going to see this. You're going to open the folder, and then you're going to click textures or shaders and textures. And you're gonna see all of these in here, and I know it looks like a lot, but you don't really have to worry about this. You just have to select everything in here. Just highlight it all, you can do that, or you could click the bottom one or the top one, and then hold shift, and then click the top or the bottom. Or you could just press control A and select every file, but essentially you wanna make sure that every file in this folder is selected and highlighted and then you're just gonna press control C on your keyboard to copy everything or right click and then press this right here, copy. But control C is much easier if you have a keyboard, which you should have a keyboard. So I would just say do control C. Once you've copied that, you're gonna open up the shaders folder again that is within the quint folder that we downloaded. You're gonna open this and you're just gonna press Control V and paste everything in. And you're gonna press 
replace file in the destination and everything should be in this one folder called shaders which is just going to make our life easier later on in the tutorial so you can close this out if you want to and so all you need is this okay so you're gonna next have to find a folder called nvidia corporation and to find that you're gonna go to this pc and then local disk or whatever you have it called your c drive and then you're gonna go to program files and then scroll down to nvidia corporation and you're gonna open that and so in here you might already have a folder called ansel and if you do it's because you have used shaders on your computer before but if you don't like me then that's completely okay and you're just gonna right click on a blank area and you're gonna press new and then folder and then press continue and then just name that new folder ansel and so now you have the folder. So you're gonna double click and open that folder. And now you're gonna open up the shaders folder where you have everything copied in. And you're gonna select everything in here and copy it. And then paste everything into the Ansel folder. And just, you can click do this for all current items so that way you don't have to keep clicking continue for every single thing because there's a ton of files in here. Anyways, so you should have copied everything into this folder, this Ansel folder. And basically this is just everything you need for your shaders in Roblox. So once you've done that, you can just close both of these folders. We won't need them anymore, so you can just close them. And the next step is actually involving Roblox. So you're gonna go to the bottom and you're gonna search for Roblox, but do not open it. You're going to right click on the Roblox player and then press open file location. Once you've done that, you're gonna right click on Roblox player again, and you're gonna press open file location again. Once you're here, you're gonna see um, a bunch of folders and stuff. You're gonna right click on the Roblox player beta, and you're gonna click this right here so that way you can rename it, and you're gonna rename this to Euro Trucks 2 exactly like that no spaces no capitals exactly like how it's typed out right here on my computer press enter and this will i don't know i don't know why it's got to be called euro trucks 2 but that's just what works for some reason i don't know how anybody even figured that out but that's what it has to be called so now you're going to want to right click on euro trucks 2 and press open and this is going to just basically launch roblox okay so now that you've launched your roblox you can just join any game um i would suggest any game that you have a private server in so that way you can like be by yourself and like choose like you know your shader settings but you're gonna i'm just gonna go into ttd3 okay so once you're in roblox all you're gonna want to do is press alt and f3 and that should open a game filter right here and that's just going to basically allow you to add different filters into your game and those filters are going to be your shaders so yeah just a few things to note before i end the video is that one if you want your game to have shaders you have to launch roblox through euro trucks 2. if you just try to um open roblox through the website you will not have shaders you'll still be able to play roblox you just won't have any shaders activated so if you want your shaders you have to launch it through Euro Trucks 2. And that's pretty much it. That's how you download the shaders on Roblox. If you would like to see shader settings, you could like find plenty on YouTube or on TikTok. That's how you do it. That's how you get the shaders. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will try my best to help you out. But that's how you download shaders. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.